Hello to everyone and good morning to you. This is Joanna and today I'm going to try to make an attempt at doing a little demonstration on my Keurig K Elite machine. I was up pretty late last night just playing around and I decided to go ahead and set the machine up. I have cleaned it and done what you need to do to the filter and put some water in it and that's why I'm at this strange angle for right now. The reason is to show you what I have done and what I have done is not practical but it will work for just right now. I moved the dish rack and as you can see I finally cleared this counter off here and I have this extension cord. I'm going to see if I can find something like this that is a little bit longer in the cord because having it there by the dish rack like I said I already realize is not practical but I don't have many dirty dishes but the few that I use and I will be very very careful and I will probably go ahead and try to secure that with some tape to the wall until I decide to do something else. But I just really wanted to work with my coffee maker and my blender because as you know, way over there is the Nespresso. So I'm going to go around to the right area and we're gonna get started and we're gonna see how this all works out. Okay, so right now we are at the front of this counter here. And as you can see, I have pulled the blender from the box because I've decided to keep it and I'll explain a little bit about that later. But I did go ahead and set this machine up here because I have all these things in boxes. And as you know, if you follow me for a while, I am still, I didn't realize that it would be this long guys, but I am still going through boxes, sorting things out, arranging things. And pretty soon I will have different furniture in here and that table over there will be moved. But we're gonna work with this today and what I have done is I did figure out how to use the my K cup because the coffee that I'm going to use is going to be this one and I did want to say really quickly I know that I have this machine too, this Nespresso because for a minute there guys I had made a post that I was going coffee machine ballistic but the three that I have are functional and they each have a purpose. I really like this Nespresso one. I do wish that I would have been able to get a different model than what I got, but I did like the sides of this one, which is why I didn't get the Virtual Plus, but that probably would have been the better one. But the machine itself is not a disappointment because you can have the coffee house type drinks that you like. Between this machine, the Keurig, the blender, and the little ice coffee maker, I don't think there's much that I can't try to do on my own to mimic some of the drinks that I like to go out for. So what we're going to start with here is just like with the other machine, I have decided to try to see what cups will fit under here. And we're going to see how that works out. So this right here comes off okay but this little base right here stays so of course i went for this one this is the 24 ounce starbucks cup this will not fit unless i do something like that it won't fit at all so i would have to primarily fill that one up from somewhere else but this coffee machine here does make four six eight ten and twelve ounce sizes so this particular cup right here that would not fit with my Nespresso will fit right there for coffee or tea or whatever beverage I want to make on the go. This glass here will fit right there. So that pretty much works out for that. And one of the things that I did like about the Keurig is the fact that I can make Keurig K-cups or coffee, which at the time I wasn't aware that I could get a K-cup to go in there. So that makes it nice. I can use whatever ground coffee I want, whatever loose tea leaves I want to use, as well as any Keurig K-cups, um, the cocoa ones, the hot chocolate ones, the coffee ones, whatever Keurig makes. Then I wanted to try these cups because these cups would not go with my Nespresso. And these are some specialty cups that I really, really like. These cups are nice when you want to make yourself that latte or whatever and you want to put some whipped cream and drizzle in there. And I love these cups for holiday time. And y'all, if you remember my Pier 1 cup, very pretty cup for festive drinks. And then my little pumpkin cup. They did have more of these at Bed Bath & Beyond and I thought about getting another one. I wouldn't mind having a couple. And then this right here. 
So what I have done is I have put the coffee in the K-cup and we're going to see how this works guys because this is my first time doing this. And it is this holiday blend here and it is ground and it's nice and dark. And like I said, I did this universal K-cup. Now what I did have to do that I did not know was detachable was take this piece out. This is the piece that goes in when you're doing K-cups. And once I learned I could take this out, I'm going to take it out of my old machine. So if I have time, I'm going to share with you my old machine that I decided to replace with this one. There's nothing wrong with it, but I'm going to clean it up and probably take it to the Goodwill. But I need to call them to see if that would be allowable. So I have closed the unit and we're going to turn the unit on. And I know that it has to warm up. And I think it said that I could change the temperature between 182 maybe and 192 or maybe 184 and 192. It'll show that up there. I think if I push these buttons here, it'll have the time the minutes that is the temperature that i chose to keep so i just left that there and then eventually it stops blinking because i like the highest temperature but what i like about this machine that's so versatile that i would have liked when my kids were in the house because as you know then i relied on my microwave is these buttons here for just the plain hot water to make their instant oatmeal because my kids did like instant oatmeal um you can make your coffee strong my other one would do hot water too, but I had to open it up and close it. Now, I'm unaware yet if I can choose the hot water sizes, so we will try that. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and try to brew this cup of coffee. And I put about three teaspoons in there because I've never been one that needed the full strength of coffee. Usually when something says one tablespoon, I go for a few teaspoons. We're going to see how this goes. And I think when it stops making that noise, the water has heated up. So it is quiet now. This sticker right here comes off, but I'm going to leave it on there for as long as it stays nice looking because I like to have that little guide there. But it's not needed. It comes off. And again, the cup sizes, and I had to remember this, is 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12 because it doesn't have that on there. So we are going to push for the medium coffee, and I'm just going to push that button there. Let me see. I don't think I want it to be strong. And it has a descaling button on here. So let me see. Open that up, and I'm going to push that one right there. But I did find out that what I thought was the scaling pods were actually cleaning pods. And they are for using in between cleaning the machine. Like for example, if I do hot chocolate or some of the little latte K-cups, they can leave a film and residue. And that's where these come in as rinse pods. So now I understand what these are. I would need to actually buy scaling, descaling solution. Okay, so this is finished brewing, and as you can see, it's a very dark cup of coffee. Now, I did learn from watching people's videos that using that filter, you may have sediment in your cup from using loose tea leaves and coffee grounds that make their way through the filter. But by no means is this a weak cup of coffee. This coffee is very strong. So I would definitely be putting creamer into this coffee. But it's really good and it's just like I went out and got coffee somewhere because coffee that I get out is definitely stronger than what I brew at home. So I'm going to pause for a minute and put a lot of this up and I'm definitely going to doctor this coffee up because it's strong. But it is good. This would be something I would want to have a cup of first before getting the kids up. So I'm going to pause real quick, clean up and be right back. So what I've done here is I've went ahead and I have added some of this white chocolate creamer. And I'm going to try my hand at this ready whip because I am not very good at this part. So we're going to see. I 
may cut that off just in case I made a mess. And so far, so good. We put some whipped cream in there. I got one more little additive. I'm going to try a little bit of this caramel sauce. Okay, did you see that? I just made a mess and I didn't even squeeze anything. We'll stop right there. And then I'm going to stick this little stick in there. Give it a little stir. And there's my little coffee drink for this morning. Now I'm going to go ahead again and pause and clean up and go ahead and share with you my old machine. Again, there's nothing wrong with it. I just wanted to replace it with this one. And this one does more than I thought it did, guys, because when I got this little ice coffee maker machine that I have not set up yet, I did not know that this one had an ice button. And this was the original machine that I wanted. Um, I knew that I wanted to replace mine with this, but I did not know at the time that it had the cup sizes and I did not know that it made iced coffee. And then I also got the Nespresso. So like I said, between these machines and the blender, there's no drink I could go out and purchase that I can't try to make myself. So here is the older machine and I don't know when I bought this. Um, I may have bought this about maybe 2002. 10 or 11 but it's still good and i was trying to see yeah if i can share with you the buttons there so this is like a major upgrade in the sleeker design and i really really like this a lot and you can make everything for yourself for your kids for company because at first guys when i first got a keurig i had my regular coffee maker still hooked up I felt like this Keurig was only good for company, you know, something to have when company was around. And I got tired of going through the K-Cups and I just wanted to pour coffee. But these machines today, like that Ninja Coffee uh, machine I was looking at, you can do all of that. And they do so much more, so I no longer feel that way. And as you can see, you can have your hot chocolate, you can have your coffee, you can have this little stuff, you can have tea. So I learned that. And this little drink is delicious. I've since added some vanilla syrup. So like I said, if you're interested in this machine, I got this one for $119 from Best Buy. They were $129 when I first seen them. And if I can show you this water reservoir, I believe it said it held 75 ounces. So it holds a lot of water. Um, and I'm someone who doesn't drink coffee all the time. I mostly have a cup when I'm going to work or here lately more so when I get home in the afternoon. The morning's like now because I was up really, really late last night. But someone also wanted me to demo this machine. Like I said, I'm going to keep it and we will do something with that. But I haven't even made ice yet. <laughs> and I wanted to take it back because it didn't have an ice crush button. So for that someone that wants me to do a demo, I will do one. I have decided to keep this because I have been watching videos and I can't find a video for this model. But a lot of the people that I watch had older blenders and there was no ice crush button. So they were using their medium or their pulse. So I definitely want to try that. This one comes with the blender and one cup, but the model that I want at Best Buy, which is just like this, except for it includes an ice crush button, it actually comes with two of these little cups here that you can use to make your smoothies in and then put that top on right there to go ahead and drink it. So like I said, at first I thought this was overkill, but with each of these machines, there isn't a drink that I cannot make that I would go out and buy. Your choices would be limitless. And then with all the drink recipes on Pinterest and on YouTube and Facebook groups for these types of machines, because I didn't know there was an espresso Facebook group that I just joined. So if you're looking to get this for someone for Christmas or you want something for yourself, especially if you've got kids in the house that you make instant things for and little drink beverages for, this will be really nice. So I like it. I'm very glad that I have it. And if there's anything else you want to see with this, just let me know. Everyone have a great day.